Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to another episode here from Sam Plays Roblox. Today we will be playing Adopt Me. As for those of you who don't know what Adopt Me is, well, Adopt Me is a game where you get pets and get money from owning them. At the moment I am very poor. Um, because, well, I'm not really grinding because I've already got a house. But, uh, I must say the Halloween update now has been out for... Uh, nine days now. And, I must say, hmm, it's quite um, amazing, to be honest. I've already got some of the pets. Sneak peek, sneak peek. Right. And, um, yeah. So, before we go, we're going to have a donut. Um, I always put my donut in the oven first, and then I put the frosting on. I'm going to do vanilla for now. And I've got a pizza in my cinema, but, yeah. Um, yes. Uh, so, let's get this. We're going to put the vanilla on, and fabulous. Okay, I'm going to feed me. Okay, so at the moment, I've equipped my Skelly Rex. He's called Scully. Um, say hello, Scully. Hello, it's nice to meet you all. Scully is quite squeaky, I must say, but, um, we're going to get on with this. As you can tell, my voice is a little bit off because, well, I've got a cold. Oh, no, but it's okay. Um, I'm, um, okay, I think, so we should be able to do this video today. Okay. Uh, right, um, where is it, right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna get a pet out. Diamond unicorn, why not? Right, okay, let's go. Right, uh, outside we go. Okay, yes, it is all to me at the moment. I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's go. Gosh. You are so slow. It's fine. Right, come on, let's go. You are starting to get old because, well, you're fully grown now, so don't blame me. Um. So, uh, that that was another sneak peek. Oh, I've went back in. Oops. Um. Right, we're gonna go back in. There we go. Oh, we've got to take a camping. Well, we're not doing that right now because we're showing our fans the Halloween updates, aren't we? Yes. You know, all of my pets have really weird voices. I don't know why. You know, it's like really odd, but... Hey! You know, I... Oh, you know, I, I sometimes I just give up with them. You know, it's just, they just... They get really annoying sometimes. It, it happens, it happens. Anyway, this is the update. I believe this was uh, the same... Uh, haunted house they used last year although in the last Halloween update as you can see by all my pets I was not on at the time oh neon rat should have rode, rode that here really um, but yeah shame I didn't but yeah so say hello to sparkle all he does is all she does sorry is um well sniff stuff so uh, yeah uh, let's go in, and I believe the next game will be very soon, so I'm pretty looking forward to that. Um, dit, dit jump, yes, oh god, oh, okay, I'm just gonna, mm. okay, right, um, um, which pet should I flex off on in there, ooh, this one, yes. Hello, Mr. Lava Dragon, right, uh, come on in, right. Welcome to the new Halloween update. This is the area, and the, well, you can't really call it new anymore. It's been out for days, but I haven't uploaded. So, yeah, there's the moon. There's a chandelier that's completely floating with no chain. Oh, yeah, it has a chain, but the top of the chain is floating. Um, but anyway, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I had a frost fury eventually, but then I traded it for something I forgot. 
I think it was an Arctic Fox, fox book. Me Traded that too for a Skelly Rex book. Okay. <laughs> um, right, so here are the new pets. Okay, get out of my face. Right, so we have the Basilisk. The Basilisk is 25,000 candies. And the candies are actually pretty easy to get now if you go through all the mini games. We have seven minutes to end, so we have pretty much time. Uh, we've got the Slug, which is 9,000 candy, which I haven't got yet, but I don't really want it, to be honest. It's a Slug. I've got the Chimera, because I just saved about a day for that. Uh, I've got the Evil Basilisk. I love the Evil Basilisk. It's basically the new version of the Evil Unicorn, but the Evil Unicorn is obviously OG, and this will one day become OG, and just the amount of worth of what the Evil Unicorn was. But that'll be when the Evil Unicorn is about six years old, so let's not... So, out of the boring part, we have what just came out, and this is the Headless Horseman's pl Bip Plane, I think and in 11 days we have some skeletons and i have a feeling Ooh, yes four days and we have a pony cycle for twenty three thousand here and this is a unicorn zombie pony cycle so yeah pretty nice actually probably gonna get that eventually and this actually because i think it's well good uh but hmm yeah so um i actually haven't pro properly properly explained the mini games so every mini game has a timer on it and every time the timer is close to the end everybody gets a sign on their screen you can click yes or no to go to the mini game but you can also go inside eventually and make sure you get across the bridge in time otherwise well you will fall into the abyss and die. Although you will respawn right here. It's just for fun, really. So, what? Oh, get out of my way. Um, at the moment, the next game is in five minutes. You could say four minutes and 59 seconds. But, um, yeah. So, um, we're going to go in and... Um, we're going to find out, uh, and I will uh, catch back up on you guys when the game is about to start. Everyone is now coming in, and we, I I must say, I'm quite excited. Also, I don't know why I'm on somebody's head. That was nice. <clears throat> and we have some very rich people with very limited items on their head. Any hoozy. We have 55 seconds left. Scratch that. 50 seconds left. And I'm pretty excited. The chicken um, game is a game where you got to listen to the chicken and, the, and don't believe the evil unicorn. If you pay attention to how I play it, you should become a master at this well, game. If you win this game, you do get 5,800 candy. Whilst in the tiles game, where all the tiles disappear underneath your feet and you have to jump around, move, everything, and hope for the best, you get a lot more. Um, about 10,000, I think. And the hide-and-seek one, again, not the best, but it still gets you a little bit. So, five, four. Three, two, one, and then we'll have the little extra thing, and then there we go. Right, now watch carefully. So, three, two, one, and the chicken. So, this is the chicken. So, we're going to go to the portal over here, and that means the chicken is telling the truth. So, if we go to the portal, we won't get flung off the map. As you can see, those people just got flung off because they did not listen to the chicken. Now this is the evil unicorn. So what's not on there? The orange tree. So if we go over to the orange tree, we won't get killed. So what? the evil unicorn lies and you can't see the orange tree on there because the evil unicorn's telling you the ones that are going to kill you. And the evil unicorn again. Again, the orange tree is not on there. The orange tree is pretty safe. 
then we'll go back on them so it's quicker. Then we will wait nine and then he's and now it's the chicken again so we'll go straight to the bottle and the chicken tells the truth. And just like that we're on round five. Then we, we have the chicken again and now we have less time. So we need to find the area I'm probably about to die aren't I? Nope. I slide it. Right. Now the evil unicorn says this. What's not on there? Orange tree again. And jump. Okay, that was close. Okay. And now we have the everything but this one. Ah! And now that was the last round. So that made me pretty lot of money. That was 3,556. Not too bad. Now I've got 17,000 candy. And now the game is over. So I basically survived till the end. So that's a pretty good tactic. And that's what you're supposed to do. So... Let's go through this portal and get um, moving to the next game. I will obviously not keep you guys waiting, so when the next game is ready, I will be back. Right, so this game we're going to have to wait 27 minutes for, but we're only doing three once. So in other episodes, we'll probably um, be grinding and getting the new pets. These will be coming out over here, coming soon in four days. When these come out in four days, I will make a video and we will save up for these. It will take me a few hours, but it's okay because there will be cuts in there and you will, and it will probably be, only be like a 12 minute video, so you don't have to panic. Right, as you can see, the bridge on this side always breaks and if you fall down like this, you go like that. And when that happens, you wait and you respawn. And then we can just go right back up. So when someone drops, the bridge breaks. So. Let's get in here. And this is what the area looks like. This is Jeff, Mega Back Dragon. This is actually my dream pet, to be honest. So I'm just going to pretend like he's mine while he's here. So. Um... Yeah, um, we have 6 minutes and 35 seconds. I will be back with the next part of the video very, very shortly. Meet you there. People should start coming in any minute. I'm quite excited now. Well, because the game is about to start. I told you guys you wouldn't have to wait for ages, so... The next game, mini game, after this is hide and seek. Also, let me explain this game. This game is for people with tiles. The tiles go down from those trees and basically, every time you stand on the tile, it disappears into a puff of smoke. And when that puff of smoke goes, you will fall. So, you've got to jump, move around as much as you can, and if you fall, you are down to the next stage. There are three stages, and if you fail all of them, you die. And if you die, you still get candy, but you won't get as much as the winning team. Um, but you'll see when I do it. We have 40 seconds now, and um, <laughs> I want Jeff, me too. Me too. I want Jeff so bad. I mean, I take the glasses off because they look well. Like, oh, I want Jeff too. But, eh, we can't have him. I'll probably get to have a mega back, back dragon one day. Maybe once the Skelly Rex is worth, like, anything. But, like, yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to hope now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going in, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have this little setting bit that loads the map. Right? And this is Spleef. This is Spleef. And basically, every time you stand on the tile, well, let me show you. It disappears. And if you fall down, well, I think you know what happens. You fall. And uh, possibly you might die if you fall on the last stage. Oh gosh, bit glitchy. Just move it. 
I like to move it, move it. Okay, right. Move it this way, move it this way, move it this way, and jump down to the blue. Go, 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 go. We have ten people left. And that is not good. This person's trying to kill me. So I'm just going to try and calm them. Whoosh. Nah. And I'm dead. Right. How much did I get? I got the amount of 3,469. They've reduced the amount of candy you get. Which is a shame, actually. Because you used to be able to make it really quick. Now. Let's do this. Okay, so, number three, the last game is called Hide and Seek. If you are a seeker, you find the hiders, and if you are a hider, you hide from the seekers. If you win, you get a lot of, of candy. It's e easier to be a hider, but because... Some hiders can be very, very, very good at hiding. And, to be honest, when I'm a hider, I know some very good spots. Um, usually I just tumble into them, but I know a few now. So, I'm quite looking forward for the game to start, So just so I can show you guys. And, show you some of my secretest places. So, I'll be back, and we will. Play this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I am going to wait now for about seven minutes, and you guys will just see it in a blink of an eye. Three, two, one, and. Oh, and I forgot to mention the map looks like this. The chandelier is sideways, and it's, a, it's basically the main map, but instead it's a little bit more confusing, and there's hiding spots. Plus, um, there are many, many little cracks you can get through, and I think through this minigame, you can get to other minigames, and that's what I mean. As you can see, there are cracks inside of the walls, and that is usually where the minigames start. And, well, usually it leads to some good candy. So, we're just going to wait for that. And I'm pretty excited. So, I will catch up when, well, the time is up. It was already two minutes ago when I uh, was outside at the front door. I know, I'm pretty magical. As you can see, I've got a, I've got a crown. And I've got magical elf ears. Magical halo. This is my Halloween costume. I know I look a bit kawaii, but that is my channel theme, okay? As you can see by my, well, picture on the front page of my channel, I'm very kawaii. So, and anime -y, if you get, if you understand. So, yeah. But, obviously, I'm Robloxy, so, yes, this is me. Um, yes, oh, just look at that table. Oh, anyway. I will be catching up with you guys because I can tell you probably be bored by now. So, the time I hit this floor, the timer will be up. Oh guys, the game is about to start. We have one minute. And, well, the minute game is about to start. Now, I'm pretty excited because, well, I've not played many games of hide and seek. Well, because it just came out. <sighs> Am I British? Yes. <laughs> At this point, so many people ask me this question. And I'm actually starting to be a bit, you know, annoyed. Oh my gosh. Yay! Wait, you know. What? From where? Oh, the game's about to start. Ruby, any chance? The who way? 
Some people are in year 10. <laughs> Here I am, toddling off at year 6. Oh! <laughs> I know a great hiding spot. Right behind this shelf. As we can see here. Ta-da! Ooh, candy corn. Yes! Right, I'm just going to hide here this entire time. But I want a little bit of action just for you guys. What is this? I've always wondered what it is, actually. Is it like a bagel? What? Huh? What does it do? Oh, it's, it's like a squashed baguette. Shall I risk it for the biscuit, guys? I know it's mean, but I don't want to be boring for you guys, so... We can't be boring. Go, 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 go. And jump. And jump. Wait, what? You were tagged? No! That's what I get for being risky, guys. Anyway. I've got 21,606 candy now. So, we're going to end it off the video today. From those three games, I made about um 16,000 so i'm not too annoyed about that i must say i'm kind of happy but i hope you all enjoyed this episode make sure to subscribe like and comment at the bottom of the video make sure to um well support the channel and hit the notification bell can i mention this is all free now um, I will be off now, flying away with my lovely cup of tea and crisps. And goodbye, y'all.